BBC News with Danielle Jawowiecka. Reports from Sudan say clashes between rival military factions there have continued, making it difficult for foreign nationals to leave the country. A drone video has shown smoke rising near the capital Khartoum, which has seen some of the most intense fighting since clashes began a week ago. Military officials in Mali say an army helicopter has crashed in a residential neighbourhood of the capital Bamako. It's unclear if there were casualties. Kenyan police say 21 bodies have been exhumed during an investigation into a religious group whose followers were allegedly urged to starve themselves to death to meet Jesus. Officers say they will continue their search. Brazil's president, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, has sought to play down differences with Europe and the US over the Russian invasion of Ukraine. During a visit to Lisbon, he signed a declaration with the Portuguese Prime Minister which condemned Russia's violation of Ukraine's territorial integrity. It also called for a lasting peace. A protest march has taken place in the Colombian capital, Bogotá, against reforms proposed by the left-wing president, Gustavo Petro. Critics say the reforms to healthcare, employment and pensions could damage job creation and public finances. The governor of Kharkiv in eastern Ukraine says at least five Russian missiles hit the city and surrounding areas on Saturday. He said one missile damaged residential buildings and set off a major fire in Kharkiv city. Protests against plans to overhaul Israel's judicial system have continued across the country for the 16th consecutive week. The demonstrations have continued despite the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu putting the proposals on hold to try and reach a deal. And the entertainment world has been paying tribute to the Australian performer Barry Humphreys, who's died aged 89. His friend Elton John described him as the funniest man ever. BBC News. This is